My group on the uh, delivering the nuclear promise is uh, work preparation. We just issued two efficiency bulletins. One of them deals with PM preparation and the fact that we do not need to change PMs. We don't need to keep touching them over and over again unless there's a technical issue with the preventative maintenance issue. Uh, the other one deals with taking a graded approach to walking down jobs in the field. We've got to accept the fact that not every job needs to be walked down in the field and most sites are spending two craftsmen per shop, you know, to do walk downs in the course of a week. And we feel we can gain some efficiencies by just taking that graded approach. Well, the initiative's important because if you look, you don't have to look far to see that, you know, gas prices are definitely having an impact on our business. For us to be sustainable today as well as sustainable into the future, we've got to figure out a way to become a little bit more economically efficient to stay in this business. So my belief is the more that we engage the employees and the workforce, the better off we'll be because they do see some of the inefficiencies a lot faster than management does. And, and they're right there you know, at the job site so they can definitely help us make those improvements. I think from the standpoint of all the companies and all the CNOs that came together to work on the nuclear promise, everybody came with a common goal and that is to be open-minded to look at different ways of doing our business. You know, safety and reliability are paramount, but you know, when you look back and you reflect on, you know, I reflect on my career, a lot of the items that we do today, we made changes to do them, and, you know, and, and some of those had value at the time, but they don't bring that kind of value today. So we have to, we have to see our industry differently. You know, I uh, equate it to the commercial from, you know, Red Lobster, seafood differently. We need to see the nuclear industry differently. My view of the end state is that we do become more efficient we do become more competitive against natural gas and against wind, and you know we stay in, in the mix. Um, I think in the end, even though the market is not perfect right now, I think in the end, having a diverse market of energy sources uh, would be the best thing for the United States. So to me, that's my vision of the end game, is we're, we're a viable asset and we're staying in the, in the mix.